Well, tonight, the parents of South Jersey students who drank contaminated milk at their school have filed a class action lawsuit. They say in addition to the physical ailments this situation has caused their children, it's impacted them emotionally as well. Eyewitness News reporter Jasmine Payu spoke with those parents and also learned what they want from the company that produced the milk. Jasmine. Yuki parents tell me they're concerned about the long-term impacts this will have on their children. They're seeking monetary damages and an apology. It's an emotional toll that's a lot harder to get over than spilled milk. Days later, we were still experiencing these issues. Um, she is traumatic. She is saying like, no, I don't want to drink anything. I don't want to eat anything. Parents in the Camden County School District say their kids are still recovering after drinking milk tainted with sanitizer at school. The contamination impacted dozens of students at the Early Childhood Development Center nearly one week ago. It's just complete chaos. And like Dominique said, my son has this big black C on his hand. And I'm like, what does this mean? The big C stood for Cooper Medical Center. That's where Tiffany and Dominique's children, only four and five years old, were taken after they claimed Gaida Sieber Dairy Company failed to prevent the milk from being free of foreign substances. As a parent, this should have never happened to anybody's children, ours or anyone's. Thursday, the two, along with their attorneys, announced a class action lawsuit against the Connecticut based company that includes one other parent. It alleges distress on both students and their guardians. For example, one parent. Uh, lost her job, unfortunately, because of uh, having to care for her child since being out of school. In a statement, Gaida Dairy said it was disposing its 1% low fat milk cartons with a sell by date of April 11th. It said, in quotes, once we were made aware of this issue, we took immediate action and tested impacted product to verify there is no food safety risk. This should have been monitored better, and it, it wasn't. We reached out to the dairy company for a response to this lawsuit. We are still waiting to hear back. We're live in Camden County. Jasmine Pay, UTBS 3 Eyewitness News. And Jasmine, thank you.